Do you guys want controversy? Well, you're gonna get it. Today, we're gonna talk about the three stooges of real estate. Yeah, I have tons of articles for you. Today, the Senate Finance Committee is on the Hill and they're gonna go over why we're having such issues in the banking and real estate industry. But before we jump into it, welcome everyone. Today is Real Estate Daily Controversial Day. Yes, every day we go over real estate, housing, and the mortgage markets. Now, before we jump into it, strap in, hit the subscribe button, and then after I get done, hit that like button. Let's get this out there. Let's go show what we're running up against here in the real estate and mortgage markets and why the government is our worst enemy. Boom. Very first article here is actually from YouTube and we're seeing quite a lot of congressmen go up and they are hammering the housing finance committee. It says holds a hearing examining recent bank, bank failures. Well, bank failures are all connected with real estate, right? So right now we're seeing commercial real estate just hit the skids. We're seeing that the economy is just, is just getting crushed. But guess what our government says? Yay, inflation's going down. Yay, everyone, people, we want you to lose your jobs. Is that what we hire these elected officials for? Let's jump in the very first article here. Stooge number one. Yes, Janet Yellen, you got it. This is a June 27, 2017 article when she's sitting back and the she was the U.S. Federal Reserve Chairwoman Janet Yellen says, Fed Yellen expects no new financial crisis in her lifetime, but guess what? She won under door number one. Yes, it only took her seven years to screw it all up. Actually, guys, it didn't take her seven years. It started in 2021. Let's give her a break. It only took four years to screw it all up. And she comes out and says she'll never see another financial crisis in her lifetime. She created it. Next article, let's keep on topic. There we go. This was October of 2021. Hmm. Four years later, when inflation was going out of control, what did Janet Yellen say? Our treasure secretary, drum roll please. Yellen sticks a transitory view of U.S. inflation. Yes, boy, I, I think that after she was the Fed chairman, let's go hire her as Treasury Secretary because she still doesn't know what she's doing and she's causing more problems. Yes, guys, stooge number one, Janet Yellen. Let's go stooge number two. Federal Reserve calls inflation transitory as it keeps interest rates near Zero. Yes, you got it. Fair che fair Fed Chairman Jerome Powell. Let's go see when he made that. Oh, it was April 28, 2021. Hmm. That was three months into the new administration. And guess what? He was again appointed by our great president to become the Fed, to continue to become the Fed chairman. Yes. And stooge number three, you got it, Joey B. You can call him bibs or gurgles, whatever you want to call him, what, but you can't call him all together up here. Biden administration rolls out blueprints for renter's bill of rights. Yes, he doesn't want you to own a house. He wants you to be a renter. But guess what? Who else wants you to be a renter? World Economic Forum Manager Director claims you'll own nothing and be happy. Yes, looks like Joey B went right after that. Is focused on disinformation campaign, of course, but guess what? I think Joey B said, hey, that's the way to go, so I'm gonna go live off that platform. Hey, it's kind of funny how Joey B didn't say that way back in the, uh, in the election campaigns of 2020. Hmm, didn't say any of that in 2021, but now he's telling the US, hey guys, we don't want you to own shit. We just want you to be broke and be happy and be a renter and have no wealth because we'll take care of you with stimmies. 
Bingo, 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 bingo. You want a STEMI? You need a dog, cat or a dog? We'll give you a STEMI. Boom. Oh, I want I want you to vote for me. We'll give you a STEMI. Boom. But guess what? I'm going to cause I'm going to cause inflation because I'm going to spend what 8 to 9 trillion dollars in 18 months. Then, guys, I'm going to have the Fed, the chairman that I continue to appoint print 9 trillion more bucks just for you just cuz it's coming from the heart he said coming from the heart he cares about the american people he also cared about each household out there going up 400 to 450 dollars a month wow don't tell me that biden also said it so you have b you have you have stooge number 1 saying oh inflation was transitory in 2021 you had stooge number Janet Yellen, stooge number two, you had Jerome Powell, and now you have stooge number three. Since Biden administration called inflation transitory, U.S. has seen 13 straight months of soaring costs. Wow, this is a great, this article is July 15th, 2022. This is the elected leader that paid you stimmies to get your, get your, uh, uh, get your vote. Come on, guys. We all know it. If you're looking for the American dream, these three stooges have screwed it up and tried to stop you every step of the way. But let's go over some Biden appointees. Hmm. FHFA Director Sandra L. Thompson's statement on upfront fees based on certain borrowers' debt to income ratios. Yes, you got it. If you went out there and you worked hard and you kept your credit up, we're going to penalize you. You got that too. This is exactly what we're tired of with our government. All they care about is being in control of your life. And how do they control your life? They keep you poor. That's what they're doing. FHFA rescinds GSE, that's Fannie and Freddie, upfront fees based on DTI ratios. Wow, that happened today. Why? Because they got so much shit about it. It was out of control. She had to fold like the cheap suit that she had on. Not, not a good look. This is typically what you do when you have a bunch of people that don't know what they're doing. The, the U.S. government is the largest run business in the world. Yet you have everybody there that's never ran a business in their life. You put them in charge. And what do you get out of it? Yes, you're right. You get a train wreck of a business. And that's exactly what we're, we're doing. It's just like... You know, the, the, yeah, I won't even get into that. Let's, guys, let's jump right into what would we, what do we do when we reverse what we're talking about? Hmm. Let's go, Jerome. When you think that we're going to, you're going to stop raising rates, what happens? Mortgage demand surge after Fed signals potential pause in rate hikes. Oh my God. You mean things are going to be working out better if we stop having you screw it all up? Hmm, very interesting. Came out today, May 10th, 2023. Stop screwing it up. I'll tell you what, let's just say this much. Janet Yellen, you're fired. Jerome Powell, you're released, whatever. What the hell they do with, with you? You know, shut up and go in the corner. And Joey B, yes, you got it. Impeachment. Let's get you out of here, right? Because you don't know shit from Shinola and your bib is full of your... I don't want to talk about it. Next. Mortgage rates. Gone up a little bit here. 0 0.02 on conforming conventional. Yes, FHA up six more basis points. Guys, What's happening is the FHFA, yes, they put that DTI ratio in. They said they were doing it. So what did the lenders do out there? Yes, they raised rates to cover those charges. They didn't want to charge you directly $2,000 because more people don't have the money to go and add $2,000 more to their closing costs. So what did they do? In their infinite wisdom, they raised rates to bump up, bump it up. It's just like if you guys showed up and talked to your loan officer and said, hey, I want a lower rate. Everyone can get a lower rate. The problem is you have to buy the rate down. And that's what they did. Well, these mortgage companies said, you know what? Instead of us, you know, going back and being the bad guys, because we don't want to be the bad guys because Sandra Thompson wanted to raise everything. 
months ago before it ever came into fruition, they raised rates just to cover these charges so they wouldn't look like the bad guys. And guess who had to pay for it? You did. We just saw Fannie and Fannie Mae make a absolute shit ton of money. They're they're having they're having quite a lot of less. They're buying a lot less loans, but they are having close to all time high record profits. Why? Because all these lenders out there just raised your rates to cover all the FHA, you know, uh, costs. But those lenders also made a ton of money as well because they front run the FHFA. So again, who gets screwed? You got it. The American buyer, the American dream gets screwed. Think about that next time we come up with the elections, guys, because these are the people you have in charge. People who have never ran a business in their life, you're putting as head of the company and they're screwing it all up, costing every single American family on average $430 a month. Yes, that's $5,000 a year. And I don't care if you say inflation is going down since if you look at if it was real inflation, if you look back how they calculate it back, you know, 20, 30 years ago, we'd be in the 15, 20s, 25 percent inflation rate right now for the last two years. Instead, they're saying, oh, it's only a it's a manageable 17, 16 percent since Joey B got in office. So that's what's hurting your DTI, guys. And then, of course, they come in and they, and they say to you, oh, but if your DTI and if your credit scores are good, well, we're just going to penalize you more. All right, get off my soapbox. Got out of controversy. If you like the video and you say to the end, hit that like button. You guys take care. See you tomorrow.